Hello guys, so we are at our old house again. The boys just emptied out the whole entire attic. They've already taken one load over to the new house to drop off in our barn. Carly is on her old tricycle that she's realizing she's way too big for. <laughs> so here's when we get to all the stuff that's at the old house that we really don't want to deal with. I have my boss hat on today. Just everybody knows who's boss. And uh, actually this isn't too bad. It could be so much worse. We still have our shed that has a ton of stuff in it. And our basement. And Carly and I actually came here with the intentions to work out in the basement. To go through my old filing cabinets to uh, pack up, these are all empty, pack up box uh, books and things on the shelves downstairs, the games and things that were taken with us to the new house. I'm already really sweaty. But instead, now we're helping the boys because Ken is a pack rat, he likes to save everything. We have so many bins of toys and things that we're keeping for future grandchildren. And I'll show you just to show you a few. Let's see, we have bikes that we're keeping. We have this whole bin here is filled with dinosaur toys. I think everybody has a box of uh, Beanie Babies. Oh, what else? Let's see. Our bowling bags. Here's a pile of stuff started if we ever decide to have a garage sale. Oh, I have this old Cabbage Patch doll. 1984 it's in the original box but it's not in the best shape it's seen better days we found this this is interesting our wedding memories here's our whole stack of cards that we got and then i think this is interesting this is my notebook here things to do Set the date. Oh, it looks like we were originally going to get married September 11th. We got married October 2nd, Your 1999. Birthday? Yeah, that would have been the day before my birthday. So just different things. Uh, here's where we got married. It was in Olander Park in Sylvania, Ohio. All kinds of catering notes. <laughs> Look at this. I wrote Mark Smith from F-Step Photography. I wrote down all these notes and I crossed it out and I wrote loser. <laughs> Look at that. That's funny. Well, I don't know. I must have called them and I didn't like them. <laughs> so I wrote loser. That's pretty funny. Here's our beautiful napkins. Ken and Candy, October 2nd. Newspaper from Hawaii when we were there. Anyway, so we just have some more stuff to go through. I don't know if Carly and I will even make it down in the basement today because by the time we get done doing this, I'm going to probably just want to relax for a while. I think the kids are going to swim at the pond. How are you trying to invite people over? And Asha's coming over, you guys. Hopefully she didn't see our video and like take offense to it when we were talking about Chase spending time with her because I didn't mean anything bad by it. I was just trying to let you guys know why they don't hang out like all the time so anyways it's time to get to work all right so i am in the basement and you can't even see my face but i just wanted to show you guys everything we got done today so i cleared out all that shelf right there all there was like a ton of movies my mom got all this stuff i don't really remember what was there I think there was just like a couple of boxes and other stuff like that and we still have to take all these boxes to the new house because they're like extra towels and stuff like that. And as you can tell everything's empty over here and mostly everything is empty over here. So our basement is not very close to being done, I mean we have most of the stuff like emptied and stuff but. We still have to do a bunch of more stuff, transportation, boxes, and other stuff. But the attic is completely empty, which was probably the hardest part because there was just so much stuff up there and we had to decide if we were gonna keep it or get rid of it. So, 
That part was a little complicated. So here's our final load for today. We got the baby crib for future grandchildren. We got Chase and Asha. <laughs> Why do you always make the weirdest faces? <laughs> There's Chase just jumped in, and there's Ash on the trampoline. There she goes. And Carly has Riley over. You guys haven't seen her in forever. Her dad just dropped her off. You, you almost hit your back. What? Your back got really close. Yeah, I felt it. <laughs> it's hard. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, All right, so Asha just had to leave, but Chase and I were standing here talking. And look at this. Look at all the fish, just swimming. Why don't you go get a cup of food for them, Chase, please? Look at them just sitting here like, uh, Mom, it's time to eat. Feed me. That is crazy. It's funny, the other day I was reading comments, like I do every day, pretty much. And there was a comment where somebody said, no, 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 no. We don't feed them here. Go down there, dude. They don't feed them. Yeah, no. Well, let's walk down there and feed them. I don't want them to think, even though they still come here. Yeah, no. Anyways, just go down a little further. But anyways, there was a comment that said, we're really tired of you filming your pond and your trampoline and um, you need to do other stuff or something. And I know it's just a kid or whatever but it's funny how like those comments I'll read just one bad comment like sticks through my mind like why is that Chase well, do you ever read anything that like sticks in your mind like no, maybe like give let me give you an example so let's say you have your new hat that you got on mm -hmm. or not on on right now but that you bought oh gosh look at that koi even the bass are big look at that orange one oh my gosh um, throw it out a little bit further. Holy cow, that orange one is big. But anyways, let's say, you know, your new hat that you got the other day and you've been wearing it a lot. And if somebody, like, made a mean comment about your hat, like... That one cool. But, like, then the next time you go to put on your hat, you wouldn't, like, think of that one mean comment that somebody made. Like, you don't ever think I don't of it. Know if it's just me, but I really don't care what anyone else thinks. <laughs> you don't? Oh, that's good. You shouldn't. <laughs> you shouldn't really care. care. I mean, I would like to say that I don't care what other people think, but there's a certain time, certain things that I read or whatever. I mean, like there's just a certain stick person. with me. There's like a certain person, like someone you knew. Yeah. Or like LeBron James, who would say this kid's stupid. <laughs> LeBron James. Oh, so it has to be a celebrity that says something oh. bad about you. I don't think it matters if it's a celebrity that says something mean or. I mean, people are people, whether they're famous or not. It doesn't, like if another YouTuber would say something negative about me and my channel, 
even versus even one of you guys, it still like would affect me the same because they're just mean words, mean things that people say. Are you gonna cry? I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> people should think before they say things. There's no reason to be mean. If you don't have anything nice to say, just don't say anything. They're jealous of you. Just, just think of that. Just go watch somebody else's video. I'm sorry if you don't think our videos of being out at the pond and on the trampoline and stuff like that are it's exciting. We, here, I was thinking about this. We vlog our lives, not our lives are cannot controlled by the vlog. Does that make sense? Like, whatever we do, we share it. We don't necessarily wake up and like, okay, what can we vlog today? It's more so, what do we want to do as a family? What are we doing with our lives that day? And we share it. So, I shouldn't ramble and shouldn't complain because I'm very grateful to have my YouTube channel and everything in my life. And I love our YouTube channel and... Like I said, it's just sometimes those one or two little mean things that you're like, what do you mean you don't like my trampoline and you don't want me to film my fish? I like my fish. <laughs> well, Carly and Riley have been underneath the trampoline. I don't know what in the world they're doing. All right guys, so I'm in my room right now and I actually have a very special guest that you guys ask about all the time. Hey. <laughs> yeah. So, Riley didn't die. I know most of you thought she did, but she's dead now. <laughs> but I know you guys always ask where she is. Um, she's not anywhere. Like I'm at she's home. Uh, yeah, she's just at home <laughs> doing whatever Riley's doing, but obviously she's alive because she's right there, but she's back. <laughs> it's been a very long time. It's been <laughs> at least like to a year. Yeah, it's been at least close to a year, probably like last summer yeah. around then. Because we used to hang out like every weekend, but then dance got busy and then school got busy and then <laughs> I just never had time. She you never had time. Foot. Yeah, and then I broke my foot because I'm an idiot. <laughs> And now, she's back. <laughs> this is actually quite funny. So we just got home from Target. And, oh my gosh. Look, they're playing with a dead beetle. Actually, it's not dead yet. They're not even, they haven't even killed it yet, Mom. Yeah, and they're sitting on it. Earths. Stepping on it. Oh, she just flinged it at me. Kill it. They've killed two already. Now they're playing with one of them. Like, look, it's wobbling everywhere, and when it, like, starts moving, she smacks it. <laughs> Kill it already. She's coming for it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna let them keep playing with their beetle and hopefully they kill more because those things get in the house and they're so annoying and creepy. They're like flying beetles. Is there any in here? Oh, I hate them so much. That is it for today's video. Wait, what? That's not how it ends. Bye, that's it for today. Please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up this video and the question of the day is what is like your biggest like disgust does that make sense like what what grosses you out the most i hate bugs i literally hate all bugs like mosquitoes don't like gross me out but like spiders and beetles and oh i can't even say it without getting grossed out it's so bad and i love kitties and I love it when kitties kill them. That's your achievement right there. Good kitty. And now they're going poop in the litter box. Oh, get a close up. Is this embarrassing? Oh yeah. So make sure you answer the question of the day below and bye.